Guys, I can't do this. Recreate someone's photo, I said. It would be a good idea, they said. No, it is so hard. ladies and gentlemen so today as you guys can tell by the title i've got a slightly different video for you guys today hence the different location i am going to be recreating millie hannah's instagram photos now this is something i wanted to do for a while when i realized that she has the same color wall as me and i've since had bangs cut in that she has two so I thought I would give this a go and see how close I can get to recreating her photos. Now, don't be wrong, they're not gonna look anything like hers because she is absolutely stunning, she's gorgeous, and unfortunately I'm not in her house, so they're not gonna look identical, but I'm gonna try. And hopefully you guys enjoy watching me try. So, without further ado, let's go. Okay, so the first photo I'm gonna be recreating is this one. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a white waffled dressing gown, but I do have this cream cardigan, which looks kind of white. And because it's like knitted, I thought it gave the same effect as the waffling. Now, what I've done is basically, long story short, when it's raining, our garden furniture comes inside. So I basically put one of the chairs here to be the chair that she's sitting on. And then I need to make myself an iced coffee because she has an iced coffee in her hand for some of them. And I've also done like quite dark i mean i wear this color every day anyway but i feel like her lip color is like really prominent in that so i'm gonna like keep topping this up to make that stand out as much as it does in hers but let's shoot the first one so i've had to put this in the armrest purely because in the photo she's like leaning on something so i was like this is the best thing that i can lean on i've got my own coffee ready in this kind of cup which is kind of similar to the one that she's got i've got my laptop over there with the pictures up so hopefully i can recreate this as close as possible i really can't work out what side i think this needs to be the other side bear with goes in places that mine just doesn't that's gone now so i'm on the third picture which is this one and there's like a bit of hair that's like coming across here but like my hair's just not gonna do <laughs> oh my god i look ridiculous yeah you look really good olivia you look like an instagram model 100 percent. okay now she's got all of her hair over to one side It's so much easier to take these photos yourself than recreate them. Do you know what I mean? Like, trying to get into these positions is so much harder than accidentally being in them. Okay, that's as close as we're getting for that one. Right, now she's like, but this bit's kind of fallen down. It's getting the pictures in the right place, which is actually the hardest thing. I think I need to move it further this way. Okay, now this next one that I'm doing is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite photos of Millie Hannah, like, ever. Also, note that I call her Millie Hannah every single time. I'll never just say Millie. Anyway, this is what I'm going to be recreating next. I've kept on my Louis Vuitton necklace as well as the pearl one to kind of attempt to replicate the Vivian Westwood one that she's got on. Then I've still got these two bits at the front here. This is literally the only cup and saucer that we have in my entire house. So this is the one that we'll have to do. And then again, we're using these sofas because it's really annoying. I have brown sofas in my lounge. Obviously I can't move the whole brown sofa and the walls are a different color. So I think it's easy just to try it in here. Do you know what the most annoying thing is? If these are really cool, I can't post them because it's literally copying exactly, like it's copying her photo exactly, it would just look silly. Hopefully that's the first one. And then the last one of these three, she's literally, I think she's facing, yeah, back to there. So this way, and then looking like there, I think. And she hasn't got the drink. That's gonna have to do for this one, unfortunately. If we haven't got it, we ain't ever gonna get it. Now, 
Now the third one that I'm going to be recreating is this one. Unfortunately, I do not have this dress. That dress is absolutely gorgeous though. I wish I owned it. But what I do have is this which I think is a similar kind of colour and you guys have probably seen the TikTok trend where you like, you create that shape at the front by putting I don't know where you put your head, you put your head somewhere else, you don't put the sleeves on normally, something like that, I'm not really sure so I'm going to attempt to put this on like that and hopefully it will look something like this hopefully being the main word in that sentence but we're going to give it a go so let's see guys, I think this might have just worked Okay, so obviously it's not a scoop neck, so it's not gonna have the like roundedness that her dress has, but I actually think this is all right. Is that just me? I've also had to take away the bangs because in this photo she doesn't actually have any, and I believe her hair is in a low ponytail. I can't really see, but I think it is, so that's what I put my hair in. I put extra blush on because she looks very blushed in this photo. I'm gonna use this all to take the photos. To do so, I'm gonna take these down. I swear, these pictures spend the majority of their life off of my wall. Honestly, I always use this wall. As you guys may have seen in my Instagrams and stuff. Anyway, right. See, it's really annoying that this doesn't go round it because otherwise that would be perfect. But hey ho, what can you do? Well, let's give this one a go. She looks so freaking sexy and I know I'm just not gonna look like that. So the first pose, she's just kind of like, do you know what? I'm actually gonna put my hair in a bun because Hers is like completely out of the way, but because mine's like curly in a ponytail, it's not. So I'm gonna put it in a low bun. No matter how much makeup I put on, I don't look like these people. Like it's really kind of frustrating, but anyway. Okay, what's the last one? Ooh, it's like a... Right, now this last one that I want to recreate, she has straight hair and because I've literally just curled mine and it's been up in a bun, what I'm gonna do, rather than spend hours trying to straighten it, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, wash my hair and then it'll be naturally straight and then I'm gonna go out and recreate these ones. So hopefully it's not raining tomorrow because the, this video is actually going out tomorrow as well. So it's a Sunday while I'm filming this. I'm planning on filming this last one on the Monday. So fingers crossed for me that it isn't raining. Otherwise, this is just gonna be an absolute fail. But yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow to recreate this last one. Okay, so it's now the next day. I have got the last outfit on, which I absolutely love, by the way. I will show you guys it properly in a moment. Luckily, the sun has done exactly what we needed to do. It's come out, it's not raining, we've got blue skies already to take the last one. Also, can I just say a really big shout out to Millie Hannah herself, who has actually just recently replied to my story of me saying that this video is coming out today. So yeah, shout out, thank you so much, it's appreciated. And if you do happen to be watching this, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you don't find this weird, but yeah, I tried. <laughs> so the very last photo that I'm gonna be recreating is this one, and for that, I have got on this sweater vest, which I know isn't the same color as hers, but it's close. We've got the white, long sleeve top on underneath. This is the closest to the necklace that I could find. We've got the blue headband and she's got some really like light pink eyeshadow on so I've done that as well. Again same lip colour as yesterday and then I didn't have the same trousers so I just put some jeans on because I think they kind of give the same look and then I've also got the trench coat to add over the top and a tote bag too. Is this actually kind of cute or is this kind of cute? Now one thing that is really really annoying is as you guys can see in this photo she's also got like a really light blue um, like kind of cuff like sleeve underneath the trench coat and I've got a cardigan that is that colour that is due to be delivered today and it hasn't arrived yet and I just know as soon as I take these photos it's going to arrive so if that happens I might have to redo it if not just know I did think about it I was meant to have it it just hasn't arrived and I need to get this filmed so yeah as you can see hers is outside it's on a street in front of some trees unfortunately I do not have the guts to go out by myself today and take these photos because I have to put the camera on a tripod and my phone so rather than me like just taking one tripod to take my photos I would need like a camera, two tripods, everything bit much for me going out by myself so I've just decided to use a tree in my garden instead and try and match these as close as possible I actually can't get over how much harder this video has been than I actually originally expected but it's all good, it's okay right, let's try and get this pose right 
sun is just my face. Okay. My hair is so much longer than hers as well. And then there's one like face on, I think. It's like hidden. Is that right? Let's have a look. Okay, then there's one with her hand in here. That leg in front. Like that, I think. Gosh. I think that's a wrap, guys. This is when I look back at all these photos and think, oh my gosh, what am I doing? None of them look like her at all. Okay, so that's the end of this week's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here. I upload every single Monday and every other Thursday. Do you have anything else to add, Bunny? But yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Keep smiling and I will see you guys soon. Bye.